Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another STB Let's Play. I'm Matt. I'm Johnny. I am Elliot. And now we're finally getting to a game I promised eons ago, Mega Man Legends for the PlayStation 1. Uh, okay, so... So it's not Mega Man 64? No, well, no, that's... It may just, as well be. They're the same thing. Yeah, they're the same speaking. game. So... We have an opening narration here that has a voiceover, but, you know, we're pretty sure you guys can read. <laughs> so... I'm uh I'm the newbie here when it comes to this. You know, I I I I've said it plenty of times before, but when it comes to Mega Man games, I I pretty much started and ended with the X series. You know, I've I've dabbled into the classic series. I've had my hand with the some of the Zero games. I never touched the ZX series. Battle Network no, Legends no. I just never had that much interest in it. I'll admit, I never would have thought about playing this kind of game, but one day I played it over Justin's house, and at first, I have to admit, it wasn't a good sale until I tried it again, and I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't say I fell in love with it. I thought it ended up being a really solid adventure for what it was worth. But time, admittedly, may not have been kind to this game. Will it hold up true? Let's find out. <laughs> okay, that, that's a cliffhanger. Uh, our rule of thumb is we end on cliffhanger, so uh, see you in part two. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh... I get a kick out of the narration here. The mother load. Yeah. Mother load. Mother load. I think it's just, I think it's really more perplexing Johnny seeing it spelled like that rather than mother L-O-A-D. <laughs> I know, right? That, I was kind of like that too, because I, I'm pretty sure load is spelled wrong. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a visual pun, that's what it is. It's, it's, load is a type of stone, was it? Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. So they're looking for, for mineral. I so say. they're looking for a chest of minerals. <laughs> In a, in a world surrounded by endless water. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is going to be harder than So, set in the world of Wind Waker, uh, Mega Man and his buddies must scavenge all throughout the islands? What? <laughs> We're going to be going to an island and particularly doing some digging. We Will Kevin Costner be involved? No. <laughs> That's Waterworld. <laughs> he died. <laughs> despite, despite being the star of Waterworld, he drowned early. So this incarnation of Mega Man is Mega Vol Man Volnut. Volnut. Very weird name. But this one here seems to be more human-esque than the other interactions of him were. Not know. quite anime of classic games. Not quite badass as X. He doesn't. Well, oh, well, we say human. It's like he doesn't seem any less human than Mega Man. Uh, you know what? I think it's only because of the hairpiece. Yeah, he's actually not wearing a helmet. Yeah. Wait, was, is 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 it? No, I'm sorry about that. Well, isn't this Mega Man and Tatsunoko versus Capcom too? Yes. Indeed, do. I can't tell whether or not to the dismay of many big Mega Man fans, but no, because Legends has a cult following. I'm not going to say a major fan base because Legends I don't is one of those games does. that has a fan base who's far louder than the numbers. Yes, I will, like Sonic fan base actually, <laughs> but uh, no, Sonic fan base has the numbers, but unfortunately, the loud they're ones also very loud. Unfortunately, the loud ones kind of give a bad name. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. See, Mega Man was watching Indiana Jones movies, and he accidentally forgot to bring him to the pumpkin with him, so yeah. now he went and triggered well, the boss block. Yeah, he, he, did forgot to bring, he, he, yeah, he forgot to bring a replica crystal to switch. <laughs> damn those eyes. <laughs> I will say, though, because me and Matt actually did a, about an hour test playthrough with this. Uh, we didn't do a test playthrough with the full game. Yeah. But... I do think the game has aged rather well, graphically speaking. See what you, you know, to, but I think that's just because of its cell shaded approach, right? You know, it's you still just very, the It's still very, uh, it's still very obvious to play a PlayStation One game, right? Now there are a few ways you can order, have his control schema. We're going to go to options first and shift it to directional button. Here we'll be able to turn him with the um, left and right button rather than the L1 and R1 buttons. A, bu a combination I think works very well. If you get sick of playing the game. You hit the select button, and you can go to resume game or reset game and take it back to the total screen. <laughs> I thought you were going to hit the PlayStation menu. It's like, here's the exit button. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let Roll explain the controls rather than, be, than me running my gums about it. There should be a Reverbot around there somewhere. Reverbots are basically enemies. Can you see it? So if you want to blame anything, it it's Reverbots. <laughs> nice. Stalin? <laughs> Russian <laughs> Reverbot. <laughs> what, about, what about Castro? Cuban. <laughs> Hitler? German. Anyway, guess what? If you played a Mega Man game, you're gonna be surprised here. Guess what button shoots? Yes. Swear. <laughs> These guys here are your basic mooks. These guys here are the early game mooks. They'll 
they're, they'll poop out a bomb at you, but they're no threat. They'll also try to spin tackle into you. Again, refractor shards. That's health. <laughs> These are refractor shards. They're your money. Okay. Or Zenny, I should say. They come in four flavors. The little tiny blue ones I got give you 250. They reduce on the hard mode, by the way. Uh, the money becomes harder to find later games. But back to the money amounts in question. The green ones I picked up earlier is 500. The um, heavy blue ones, the heavy, the really, really big blue ones are 1,000. And the purple ones are 750. What about the small blue ones you just picked up? Two, uh, 250. 250. Right so wait, how does she know where he's going? She sort of serves as like a, she sort of serves as like a, um, scanner, so to speak. Oh, darn it, that Does she have way. a radar, or? Yeah, she has a radar. Okay. Basically, you're kind of, imagine a, like a dot in a labyrinth, and you're the, and you're overseeing that yeah. dot. Well, actually, it could be, the radar on the top left of the screen could be what also rolls C. Right. Uh, take R ones. Hold R2 to do a lock-on feature. Hold R2. Right. Man, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good, it's just some worms. <laughs> The way they show Mega Man here is Mega Man is one word. It's not. Yeah. Like Mega Man. Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a pretty good reason to that. You'll see later. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it a really good reason by means of high caliber storytelling, but it is reasonably explained. Okay. Circle. Investigation. Now, it's a PlayStation 1 game. I don't know the exact year this came out. I can't. I um, I'll check. Is there analog control, or do you no. have to use a D-pad? You gotta use a D-pad. It, it would say analog control in the options. Yeah. Very good point, Ellie. Anyway, that's the bombs. They're easy to beat. Now the thing is, is that you can press the R1 and L1 buttons to run like this. It's pretty helpful for strafing and such, especially when you turn. When you turn around them like this, that's called circle strafing. A very yeah. valuable tactic in this game. But all right, in terms of, can you move and shoot at the same time besides strafing? Yeah. Okay. Oh, move and, move and shoot at the same time? Yeah. You can that, do that going forward. Straight. You can go forward. But that's go, about it. But that's you can it. only run forward with it. You okay. have, if you want to move while left and right, while well, you got to hold the L1 and R1 button. Let's to see. turn or just to strafe? It's technically his way of running and gunning. Okay. It so came, maybe strafing would be a word to call it, I guess. Um, this, Press X and you jump. This came out in North America of August 31st, 1998. And we are back. If you press the select button, you can see the overall map. It looks crappy at first, but you'll be able to see it more fleshed out later. I'll go more into that when we do our real digs. But, yeah, this came out in North America in 1998 of August 31st. Ah. 98? Yeah. Surprising, huh? Or about right. No, Crash 2 came out in 97, and that didn't have any analog control. Uh, Crash 3 did, though, but that was 99. Uh, so, yeah. It was basically a time where... Ooh, money. I already explained that to you guys. What were you saying? It was a time where what? It was a time where analog was just introduced. So reality here, it's more like it was optional for some games. Well, no, because that, by that time we had 96 and 64 already had analog control. Well, an well, that's n 64. We're talking about PlayStation. Huh. The first PlayStation didn't really have those analog controls, and much of the much of the um, by the time n 64 came out, they decided to incorporate dual shock controls or analog controls, I should say. Because <laughs> you like dual shock better. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it does sound more badass. <laughs> anyway, as I said, yeah, but hold R2 and you can target him on the ceiling or on the ground, and all he's gonna do is poop on you. When you're locked on, can you move? No, that's the one problem. If you're locked on, you can't move. That's stupid. Yeah, it is very stupid. Eh, uh, it's probably one of. It's hard. I haven't played Legends 2, so I can't tell you whether or not that actually gets refined in later games. Would you see a possible Legends 2 LP? If I can find well, that I mean, game. anything's possible. I mean, <laughs> we got all the time in the world, damn it. Yeah. Treasure. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Power Razor. This is our bu this is our Buster part. Basically, kind of an RPG format. You can you can equip Buster parts on Mega Man and gain four separate attributes on it. There's power, energy, range, and rapid. It's pretty obvious what attack and range and rapidity do. Rapid do. Rapidity. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a perfectly carmulent word. Anyway. <laughs> Energy, however, is how many shots you could take, how many shots you can make before he stops. Like, right now, with my basic level one energy, three shots. Then, he's, then he pauses. So it's, More your, energy. it's your attack rate. Right. That's a good way of saying it. And the higher it is, the more shots you can make. I think it also changes the or, uh, it also changes the orc color too. Mega Man, I'm showing a large boot in front of you. 
By the way, roll only serves for this role during your story missions. In reality, when you go on your own personal digs in the, in the later in the game, she's she'll never talk to you. <laughs> yeah, right. Can you hear me? Yeah, rolls in this game too. Different in incarnation. Well, I figure. What's a boss like bottle? Then again, the X series didn't have roll. No, no, we had it, uh, I don't know. Really yeah, easy. Yeah. Remember that circle strafing I was telling you about? Yeah. yeah. You hold the R1 button. Or the L or one button, and you press the opposite button on the control on the controller. So for me to be doing this, I'm tapping left every once in a while. Huh. I'm holding R1 to run right, but I'm tapping left to keep the gun centered on him. That's that seems really. Convoluted. It sounds more convoluted until you practice it. Then it's second nature. Like why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you have to hold R1 and hold right? You're moving right. No, you're moving right with R1. Yeah. R1 and L1 moves you left. R1 moves you right in strafing. That much is true. But if you if you constantly tap the button, you turn Mega Man toward the opposite direction of what you're doing, and in reality what it kind of does is it keeps it onto him. In a way that's sort of circle strafing in a in a nutshell. All right, so it's all right. All right, so let me let me get this straight. Holding down, all right, pressing L1 or R1 causes Mega Man to move in that direction. Right. So if you're holding down R1, Mega Man's strafing right. Right, but he's still firing. But he's straight. still firing. But why, fire. so what's the point of tapping left? It'll circle, you could use that to circle around your enemy. Like if you're holding R1 and you go right, like so, you can't yeah. see me, but I'm using <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> I'm holding right, and I'm running like this. Telling him to go left afterwards turns him. So he kind of goes like this. <laughs> I wish I had a video of what you yeah. like that. <laughs> it, was right. funny. it was a funny face. Anyway, looks like it wasn't completely destroyed. Fuck. I know I made it sound a little more confusing, but it's really easier to do than I made it sound out to be. You make me. it you make it easier said than done. Oh no! I, actually, in that case, that was done easier than said. You can see the squares. Yeah, I can too. <laughs> was he shivering? I think he was just saying his um, final prayers. Uh, Father, thou art in heaven. See ya. Psych. I was going to kill myself anyway, so <laughs> the joke is on you, Papa. Insert Back to the Future music here. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na -na. Back to the one. Future music! Oh. Ain't no fun. Now, now the robot still has attack the... capabilities. I don't know why it's just standing there. Can't believe what it's seeing. Okay, so now we're going to turn the ship and blow his ass off with the exhaust. No. no? <laughs> oh. We're just taking off and leaving him on the oh. island. Not even tackle him. Look, no, he's standing there. He's like, how dare you ignore me? That's exactly it. It lives with its failure. Now he it was, now. Oh, it was tasked to do. It was created a task specifically to do something, and it couldn't do it. No. Now it must live with its guilt. Oh yes. All you can do now is mope. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> On top of this high tower, <laughs> in the middle of a world surrounded by endless water. Can you imagine that he jumps into the water? Yeah. Albeit it'll thing. probably be a programming accident of anything else. <laughs> Anyway, believe it or not, this is apparently something done post-apocalyptic. Huh. Wouldn't be, really be surprised there, though, to be honest. Mm. Who is that? That is Roll. I will say, though, I do like Roll's design in this game. Yeah, it's far more... It's actually pure... It's actually straight-out human, I believe. Yeah. Like, Roll's design in the classic games fluctuated all the damn time. Why do you say that? Because sometimes she's, she looks like she's four or five years old with a red dress. And then so, and Mega Man Japan heavy games. And then Mega Man 8, she's like rocking this this white skirt with black nipples. Mm -hmm. And this, she looks like 15 or 20 years aged. She aged like 15 or 20 years. Yeah. And then like Mega Man 9 and 10, she went back to the red skirt again. And yeah. It's really weird. So where is, so where is Dr. Light? Dr. Light is dead. Damn. How many years... No, because this is this is technically in the same. I'll level universe. with you right now. If fan, if I haven't played Legends too, so I can't give you the full beef on it. But this happens long after Mega Man X and yeah. Mega Man Zero, I believe. Yeah. Wow. Ah, oh, damn! Looks like looks like our ship is in. So am I? Sorry, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. What happened to our engine? <laughs> the engine went foo bar, and now we gotta land. Wait, the back actually looks like there's a face. Yeah. Anyway, I'm spoiling a bit here, but when you beat the game on normal mode, you get the hard mode, which is enemies deal more damage and they have longer life bars and such like that. But the money also gets double the reduced. The money gets cut in half. Yeah. Ooh. 
Well, so we have to make yeah, an emergency well, that's landing. Uh, okay. So um, basically, like the one, the big ones that cost a th gave you a thousand four now only give you five hundred, making money grinding and powering up your weapons are all pain in the ass. So you might, so you're better off just playing normal. Ah, no, hard mode's got its own fun too. Oh, Jesus Christ! Impact, Johnny. Yeah, I know what? that, but roll got it the worst. <laughs> Face slander into the wheel, and then she was sent back. 